How's it going shoppers and drivers? Today we're gonna to be comparing Walmart Spark to Instacart. If you guys have been following my channel for some time now, you guys would know that I'm primarily an Instacart YouTuber, but I got deactivated, I explored new apps, and I found out that Spark is actually really good and possibly better than Instacart, but I'm not gonna spoil that for you just yet. We're gonna be comparing four different topics here when we're talking about Spark versus Instacart. Very first thing that we're gonna talk about here is the pay. And I'm not talking about customer tips, but I'm talking about what the actual company pays you to do an order. All right, so here is what I would say an average Instacart order. We have 7.4 miles and we shopped for about 30 to 40 items and it was $27. Now, if you guys look at the batch pay, it was $8.64 which is pretty low in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure Instacart has the lowest payout of any apps. The only reason it does so well is because customers know that they have to tip pretty high on this app for us to make money. So here we made $27, but that was mostly because of this pretty generous tip. All right, so now I wanna show you this order with no tip. The customer gave me nothing, but look at the payout. All right, so now this is a Spark order. This was a shopping one just to compare it fairly to Instacart. Because if you didn't know, Spark does do curbside pickup. It's kind of like the primary thing that you do with Spark. But anyways, this was a shop and deliver order. It was $23. And guess what? There was no tip at all. So Spark paid me $23.50 to deliver only like 18 items. So if you guys think about it, if I got the same tip here, I would have made $40 on this order and I would have shopped for less items. So customers aren't forced to tip you. You can take these orders with no tip and still make money. All right, so here's another shop and deliver from Spark and we made $31 and we only got a $7 tip. Now on Spark, that's probably a decent amount but on Instacart, a $7 tip is really low. So just that tip right there turned this into a $31 order. And once again, very few items that we had to grab. We we're done within 24 minutes, as you guys can see. So Spark isn't relying on the customer to have to tip us. So we can do an order even with no tip and still come out in the positive. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about another reason why I think Spark is better than Instacart, and that is the wait list. Now, I know you guys are not happy that you guys are having to wait months to get onto this app, but that is truly why this app is able to remain good. So I had to wait six months to get approved, and it was not fun, but when I did get approved, it wasn't oversaturated. Instacart is almost unusable in my market now because there's so many shoppers and you can't do it full time. Unless if you're out there for like 12 to 14 hours a day. So Spark is actually being safe about things and not hiring too many shoppers. They're actually treating the current shoppers with respect and not basically kicking them out of their job. So one thing that Instacart does have over Spark is their app. Their app is laid out a little more user friendly, makes a little bit more sense, and somehow they actually did a decent job there. Their support is easier to get a hold of, and I know support on Instacart is definitely not always the best. Usually it's actually pretty bad, but it is laid out pretty well. The problem is the actual support group that they use, they don't know what's going on half the time, and that's actually why I got deactivated. Spark support agents seem to know what they're doing, but the app is just really clunky, and sometimes the support chat will disappear, and uh, yeah, that's not fun. All right, so we already talked about the shopping orders for both of these apps, but now let's talk about the curbside pickup orders. On Instacart, most of these orders are only about $7 and barely anyone tips on those. On Spark, even without good tips, you can easily make $20 to $25 on just a curbside order. So you can basically make the same amount of money that I showed you in that first Instacart order just by dropping off groceries. You don't even have to get out of your car until you're at the customer's house. You're not making the decisions to replace things. It's pretty straightforward. All you're responsible for doing is giving the customer their groceries. So this is why you guys have been seeing so much Spark content lately. It's because I'm really enjoying the app. I'm not leaving Instacart forever. I actually did an Instacart order today. So if you guys are here just for Instacart, don't worry, we'll still have that stuff coming out. But right now I'm concentrating on Spark for at least this week. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button down below. Consider subscribing if you enjoy gig work like this. And of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know which app you prefer. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.